Good afternoon, Genesis Church, and really to all of West Plains, and we've got a special treat for you this afternoon. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my family is pretty new to the community. We moved uh, to the area at the first part of the year, and we began serving here at Genesis uh, back in November. And one of the things that I've been blessed so much with uh, whenever we got here was meeting an amazing group of pastors in our community, a group of men that uh, just love our community, love the people of our community, and uh, to be able to come in and to forge friendships with these spiritual leaders has been just amazing. It's been good for my soul, it's been good for my heart, and I know it's an amazing thing for uh, our community. And we meet on a regular basis to pray uh, for our community and to talk about all the things that are going on in our churches. And uh, it's just been pretty awesome. Even in the midst of the, the scare with the coronavirus, uh, we've all been in this together. And uh, that's one of the things that we want you to know as the pastors of this community, that regardless of what name is on our church, uh, we are still part of God's kingdom. We, we are not Genesis Church. We are not First Baptist Church or the United Methodist Church or Endurance Church or whatever church. We are God's kingdom. And together, uh, we, we press forward in the journey that Jesus has called us uh, to walk. And uh, just a few days ago, we were having an online conversation. And one of our local pastors, Jerry Heath, uh, had just a, an incredible, incredible idea that we wanted to share with you this afternoon. Um, you know, looking at uh, last week, I was over at the hospital and I stopped by to see a friend, R.D. Reed, just to encourage him. He's on the security team there. And as I was there talking to him, um, I just watched person after person after person go into that hospital, doctor, nurses, patients. And my heart was going in with them, but I know that my feet could not. So when I went home that night, I just uh, said, what could we possibly do for the hospital and for healthcare? And uh, I called the guys up and just said, hey, what do you guys think about a, a prayer uh, specific for our community and, and for some of these areas? So I would like to start out today by praying for our first responders. Father, I thank you for our first responders. Father, I thank you that, Lord, for law enforcement, for fire, EMS, Father God, for Howell County Emergency Management, uh, Lord, for all of these branches, God, that, Father, you're protecting them, that, God, you would go before them. Lord, give them wisdom on these situations, Father God, for the hospital security. Lord, we just ask that, God, they would have wisdom in every situation, and, Father, that you would just put your hand of protection on each one. Lord, we ask that, God, they'd be able to go home to their families at night. Father God, just uh, weight-free, uh, heaviness-free, Lord, because they know that you're with them. And Lord, we just wanted uh, this group to know that, Lord, we love them and that we're praying for them today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'd like to pray for uh, our hospital, our medical workers and clinics who are dealing uh, on the front line with this virus and pray for their strength. Father, right now, we just come to you uh, together as brothers in Christ to, to pray, and especially uh, I pray that you would be with our hospitals, uh, be with the wisdom, give them wisdom as they make decisions, as they treat patients. We pray that you be with the nurses, the doctors on every level, the physical therapists, just so many levels that uh, you would be with them, that you would give them strength when their feet are tired, when their minds are, are just... Uh, feel like they're completely shot, Father, that you would renew their spirit, that you would protect them from the virus as they serve, that you would give them wisdom in the decisions that they make, and you would be with them in every way, and that you would protect them and their families at this time, Father, and we pray that your hand would be upon them, and it's in your son's name that I pray. I'd like to pray for the business owners, the restaurants, uh, those who are conducting business here in, in, in our community. God, we lift up to you all of those who are small business owners, restaurants, uh, those who have employees who are, who are experiencing some very uncertain days, God. And we just pray, God, for your wisdom to be upon each person, each owner, each employee. We just pray, God, that they'd have patience and they would persevere through this time. And just help them to know, God, that even in the midst of all of this, all the stuff that's going on in, the, in our world, in our nation, in our community, help them, God, to know that you are in control. And the best of all, God is with us and with, he'll never leave us. And we, God, we just thank you for that. We pray these things in Jesus' name. 
Father God, we uh, want to start our prayer in praying for a miracle. We as churches and as believers understand that we have a miracle working God. And today, God, I believe with all of my heart that you can move and you can subside, uh, Lord, this virus that has affected the entire world. And so, God, we pray for a miracle first and foremost that you will do amazing things, that we would stand in awe of your greatness and your mighty hand. I pray for our churches, our ministers that minister here in the West Plains area, and God, I pray that you'll give them strength and wisdom and understanding. Uh, God, I pray for our church members that they will be the light, the hands and the feet of Christ, working, active, doing, Lord, what you have called us to do in this world that we live in, not just on this occasion of this pandemic situation, but God, every day of our life, God, help our churches be the light that you've called us to be. And then, Lord, I want to pray uh, for the fact that we want souls to be saved. We want people to come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior in the midst of chaos. God, I pray that you will shine your light into their life and they'll accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. In Jesus' name. Father, finally, we want to take time to lift up our government leaders, our city officials, Lord, those that you have ordained, that you have placed in these positions of influence in our lives, uh, Lord, that as they get information from, uh, Lord, experts across the world, Lord, that they would be in a position that they would be able to use your wisdom to make decisions that would be in the best interest of our communities and of our people. And Lord, I pray for our people that as, uh, as our leaders, as our officials, hand down uh, suggestions and recommendations, Lord, even mandates, Lord, that we would heed the wisdom that they, that they possess. Lord, as your word says, you have ordained uh, government. And, and God, as long as, as, as that government is not asking us to do something that goes against uh, what your word tells us is truth, Father, that we, we, have, uh, we have a need of, of listening and following God. And so I pray that as, as your people, Lord, that we would heed those words, Lord, but we pray for your wisdom for uh, not only people like our mayors and our city councilmen, God, uh, but Lord, even our state officials, our governors, lieutenant governors, our uh, representatives, Lord, and, and to our national level, President Trump and Vice President Pence and uh, Lord, just the Senate and the House, God, that we would all come together, that we would all have one mind and one accord to do what's in the best interest interest of the people, Lord, that we would be protected, that we uh, would, would be able to, to fight off this disease, Lord, as it comes our way. And all in all, Father, we're just trusting in you. We're leaning upon your strength. We're leaning upon your power. We're leaning upon the confidence that you've instilled in us by the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we do not have to fear, Lord, that we have your power in our life that we can continue to press on in our life. And so, Father, we, we come together as your people, not as one uh, individual church, but as your church, Lord, as, as different congregations in unity of heart and mind, Lord, that, that, that where two or three are gathered together, God, you are there with us. But as we all pray in one accord, Lord, you hear our prayer. And Lord, we proclaim this with confidence today. And we ask you to move in a way that maybe you've never moved in our lifetime. Lord, just move upon this place. May your power be known to all. And we'll praise you and you alone for what you're about to do. And we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. And so guys, for those of you that joined us this afternoon, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. We, we ask you to continue to pray uh, for one another, for other churches. Uh, we can ask you to continue to pray for those that are sick uh, because that is the power that the church has in this moment. We may be limited on what we can do physically to help people, but the one thing that we can always do is to pray. And uh, we've seen lots of things come out about uh, the, the church and the virus. And, and uh, even though the church has left the building, the church has never been about a building. The church is a people. It is God's people that are called by his name. I am the church. These pastors are the church. You are the church. And we have an opportunity to show the entire world what the church of Jesus Christ really is all about. And so thank you for joining us. Continue to pray. And uh, we're gonna continue to pray for you. Have a great afternoon.